Do what thou wilt should be the whole of the law. Frederick Oz again, and today I'm going to read to you from Gems from the Equinox, and I'm going to read uh, Liber Resh, which is a practice that's performed by many Thelemites that creates structure in one's life and also uh, helps you to identify with uh, the sun. Uh, I'm also, after I finish uh, reading it to you, I'll be showing you a video of me performing it, uh, the noon adoration. And here it is. This is Liber Resh, Vel Helios, Subfigura CC. Liber Resh. These are the adorations to be performed by all aspirants to the AA. Let him greet the sun at dawn, facing east, giving the sign of his grade. And let him say in a loud voice, Hail unto thee who art Ra in thy rising, even unto thee who art Ra in thy strength who travelest over the heavens in thy bark at the uprising of the sun. Tahuti standeth in his splendor at the prow, and Ra Hor abideth at the helm. Hail unto thee from the abodes of night. Also at noon let him greet the sun facing south, giving the sign of his grade, and let him say in a loud voice, Hail unto thee who art Ahathor in thy triumphing, even unto thee who art Ahathor in thy beauty, who travelest over the heavens in thy bark at the mid-course of the sun. Tahuti standeth in his splendor at the prow, and Ra Hor abideth at the helm. Hail unto thee from the abodes of morning. Also at sunset let him greet the sun facing west, giving the sign of his grade, and let him say in a loud voice, Hail unto thee who art tomb in thy setting, even unto thee who art tomb in thy joy, who travelest over the heavens in thy bark at the downgoing of the sun. Tahuti standeth in his splendor at the prow, and Ra Hor abideth at the helm. Hail unto thee from the abodes of day. Lastly, at midnight, let him greet the sun facing north, giving the sign of his grade. And let him say in a loud voice, Hail unto thee who art Kephra in thy hiding, even unto thee who art Kephra in thy silence, who travelest over the heavens in thy bark at the midnight hour of the sun. Tahuti standeth in his splendor at the prow, and Ra Hor abideth at the helm. Hail unto thee from the abodes of evening. And after each of these invocations, thou shalt give the sign of silence, and afterwards thou shalt perform the adoration that is taught thee by thy superior. And then do thou compose thyself to holy meditation. Also it is better if in these adorations thou assume the God form of whom thou adorest, as if thou didst unite with him in the adoration of that which is beyond him. Thus shalt thou ever be mindful of the great work which thou hast undertaken to perform. And thus shalt thou be strengthened to pursue it unto the attainment of the stone of the wise, the summum bonum, true wisdom, and perfect happiness. Hail unto thee who art Ahathor in thy triumphing, even unto thee who art Ahathor in thy beauty who travelest over the heavens in thy bark at the mid-course of the sun. Tahuti standeth in his splendor at the prow, and Ra Hor abideth at the helm. Hail unto thee from the abodes of morning. Unity uttermost showed, I adore the might of thy breath, supreme and terrible God that makest the gods in death to tremble before thee. I, I adore thee, appear on the throne of Ra. Open the ways of the Ku, lighten the ways of the Ka. The ways of the cobs run through to stir me or still me. Oh. Let it fill me. The light is mine, its rays consume me. I have made a secret door into the house of Ra and tomb of Kephra and of Ahathor. I am thy Thaven, O Mentu, the prophet Ankop Nakansu. By best Narmat, my breast I beat. By wise Tarnak, I weave my spell. Show thy star splendor, O Nuit. Bid me within thine house to dwell. O winged snake of light, Hadi, abide with me, Ra Hur Thank you for watching. I hope you will uh, take this ritual and these words to heart and uh, practice Libra Resh and create structure. Uh, in your own life. Love is the law. Love under will.